Hello, welcome to Unicycle.com videos. Um, we've uh, had a request today from a customer who had a, a set of our pedals um, and he had a problem with them. They were clicking. Um, the bearings were plain bearing, um, similar to these, not exactly like this, um, but very similar. Um, these are ball bearing um, pedals, which is the most commonly used on unicycles. Uh, unicyclists tend to consider pedals to be disposable um, since they tend to be so brutal on the pedals. So um, these, these pedals are constructed with a spindle with two lots of bearings. On the end of the, um, the pedals are a cap. Underneath this cap is where you get to set the, the bearing tension and I will show you how to do that. Um, so first let me show the problem. So here we have a pedal that is too slack. You can actually hear the movement. Now when you spin it, it spins really well. Um, but the problem here is that the bearings are so slack they'll actually pass on top of each other and jam the pedal up. So it's probably alright this one and I personally I set my pedals like this because I like mine to spin freely. Here is an example of the other problem you get which is where the pedals actually don't want to turn. So these are incredibly stiff so these are just too tight and with this situation you have the bearings actually being crushed. Um, so two examples but basically it, the, the solution is similar for both of them. So let me begin. Um, the first thing we need to do is remove this cap from the end. Now they do vary. The caps are sometimes inside here but you can get at them. On these ones they're actually on the outside. Um, I'm just going to use uh, a Stanley knife to do it. Sometimes you have a little um, uh, nick so you can fit a screwdriver in. These ones you don't. So as I say, keep your hands well out of the way. Just put the knife in just gently, prise it around a few times, and you're just, just getting it into the plastic just to get it moving. Um, they do vary on how easy they are to come out and typically I've found one that's actually quite hard. You get your fingers underneath it and then it will it'll come out. Come on, come on, you can do it. There we go. And the cap is out. Now, I will show you what is underneath. So you can actually see inside we have uh, a nut and you possibly can see there is a nut behind there as well. Um, you can also see there's, there's grease in there as well. So I've actually got um, one that we actually took apart earlier. So this one you can actually see you have a small nut which is the lock nut and behind it the bigger nut is not actually a nut. It's actually the bearing race. So um, actually, yes the bearing um, cup is the correct term. So um, the reason that the bearing is, is slack is that there's too much space between the two bearing cups. So what we're doing is we're going to move the cup either up or down just by turning it. Now let's show you how to do that. So um, you take your, um, your pedal you take, in this case, it's going to be an, uh, a 9 millimeter pedal, uh, spanner, get my terms right here. Um, now, we just have to loosen it. Now, this is tight. They always... Ah, there we go. Okay. You don't have to move it much. That's all you need to do. Now, the next move is we take our screwdriver we put our screwdriver down the side and we rotate the pedal just a tiny bit and you can actually spin it and just check no I haven't gone far enough that's far enough now turn it back tiny bits so there's just a tiny tiny bit of movement now tighten it up again
I've gone too far. Gone too far. So, loosen it off again. Screwdriver in. And just rotate the pedal. It's a tiny bit. Now what you're doing, you are putting your screwdriver down next to the bottom, bottom um, screw, screw head and it's bolt head and just rotating it. And I still haven't moved it far enough. I possibly haven't loosened off the, the nut enough. So Now you see there I'm at the tight bit. So loose it off a bit more. So each time I'm actually just rotating up to that's it. I'm just going to do a little bit more. As I say, I want a little bit of movement. That's it. And I now want to tighten it down again. That's it. So, I've got it so it moves. But that don't have that movement there. So, that pedal is set. The next job is to take some white lithium grease and just take and just do a little, tiny, tiny bit. That's all it takes. Tiny bit in there. You can actually use um, lithium grease in a tube. Works the same. Um, we, we tend to use both in the workshop. Um, it, it just, whichever one comes to hand. Um, once you've done that, put the cap back in. And that pedal is ready. Now, the next one is where we've got our stiff pedal. Now, this pedal you treat in almost the same way, not quite. So you will take your cap out, but the first thing you do is you use a light oil, just a tiny bit. Now here, uh, the GT50, but WD40 works just as well. Now you want to actually spray into this area um, and a tiny, tiny bit of the light uh, oil. And the reason you're doing this is with new pedals. Um, what tends to happen is the pedals are manufactured in, in Taiwan or in China. Um, and by the time they reach the marketplace, they could have been on a shelf for two years. And the grease actually goes solid. So a little bit of the lubricant will actually ease up the grease and allow it to rotate again. That might solve the problem. You never have to touch the nut on the ones that are stiff. Um, if you have to, the job is exactly the same as you did with the ones which are too slack. So you take the nut, you loosen it off, put your screwdriver in, whoops, drop it, uh, rotate it around and tighten it back up again. And the final job, if you've done that, is put a bit more of the grease in. Now, once you've done that, everything's reassembled, back onto unicycles, and get out riding. <laughs>